everyone. Happy new moon in Pisces. It was yesterday the 23rd of February 2020. And hopefully you guys can hear me. to someone yesterday and they were saying oh I really want my third eye to be open and she's like she's forcing it you know and I said are you pushing it she goes yeah I'm forcing it I said you can't force it you just gotta let it be like work on all the chakras but you're forcing you really want your third eye open because you want to maybe get more intuition know um, have a stronger feeling about um, So not worrying about making something happen before it's time, you know, and for the third eye, let's think about it, it's a throat. So maybe there's some feeling of expressing how you feel verbally out loud, maybe through EFT tapping, just talking it out, you know, to, to yourself, um, to someone that is willing to listen. Um, a lot of times we also have to talk it out to ourselves because we, we might say it so much to someone else already, you know, and people are willing to help us, but we have to help ourselves, right? So whether it's you're, you're getting some kind of spiritual guidance or you're getting help with your taxes or whatever you're getting help with, you know, there's a lot of legwork that each individual has to do themselves, right? So you can have a teacher, but you are your own teacher as well. So this intuition is knowing before it happens. Sometimes we can have a little inkling of what's going to happen before it happens. But sometimes, you know, things will happen and we're not supposed to immediately know right away, right? And we, we're learning as we're going. So this intuition, this emotion, right? This is what we are working with in this new moon in Pisces. What's your meditation? This new moon is about setting your intention for your goals for the next two weeks in the waxing moon, right? So the waxing moon is, we're in the waxing moon right now. The moon is, is becoming larger and closer to earth where we can see the moon on a full moon, right? In two weeks, it'll be the full moon. Uh, the new moon, the sky was dark. We couldn't see the moon, right? This is a new cycle. The new month has started. The new moon lunar month has started. What's your goal? Pick one goal. It was so funny. <laughs> Um, in one of the workshops this was a Saturday Saturday morning's workshop this one lady said one only one goal yes only one one goal right so the one goal when you focus on that you think what's the most important goal for me to work on what's the most important thing and what is the easiest what is the most natural that I can do naturally that will flow and I know that you know I don't need anyone to make it happen or maybe you just need one person you know you could pay them or they they're, they'll be happy to help you you know or you could trade and they'll be happy to help you right so what's that easy step forward that I can do? What is that goal? And you set the intention. You, um, you, you can light your incense. You can do a mantra. You can do a mundra. You can do pranayama, a breath work, to build up that energy within yourself. Because what you're doing with your meditation is you're holding space. You're holding that power. You're holding that, that energy within yourself. That's why you have to move and exercise to work up the chi in your body, right? The energy in your body. Because when you feel pumped up, right? Like you're at the gym, you feel pumped up. You get those endorphins going. So your mind feels positive. You feel pumped. You're like, yeah, I got this. I can do this. So you get the physical body pumped up, right? Through your yoga move, your tai chi, your qigong, your stretching, whatever you can do. You move the body. And then after you move the physical body, when you're ready to sit in meditation, 
it, it, it becomes great because then your mind is more focused, your, your, your lungs have more uh, fresh air to breathe, so you're breathing better, your lungs are happy, your physical body is happy, your organs are happy. Once your physical body is happy, then your mind is ready to focus for your meditation and you can now put all your positive thought, all your positive energy in that one goal. And you focus in on that. I didn't bring any of my notes with me, but when the moon becomes the first quarter moon, that's when the moon is half, half bright, half dark. And then at that point, after the new moon, when it's the quarter moon, when the quarter moon, the first uh, quarter moon comes around, you might feel a little bit down, like, oh, I'm, I'm doubting myself. Will, will my well, will, will I still have the energy to keep going to manifest this goal, right? It depends on how easy this goal is for it to manifest. So you might feel a little bit down, but this is when you pump yourself up with that mantra if you're not doing it every day. You know, every day in the morning you could focus and say, okay, I'm going to get this done. I have other tasks for this day, but I'm still putting one hour towards this goal or whatever it is. So set your intention. Yesterday was a new moon. That was a busy day for me, um, so I'm making this video today. I usually try to get it out like a week before, but set your intention even today, right? And, and keep moving forward, right? Keep moving forward. Set that one goal. It could be to increase your intuition. It could, that's a powerful one to do because it's Pisces. It could be um, healing, okay? Anything to do, you know, taking a shower, lighting incense. What's your element that you're working with? That's another subject for another video. If you watch my other videos, I might have mentioned it on this channel, if not the other. But set your intention, taking a shower, even, even in water or swimming, you can say your, your mantra. You know, what's your element? You, even if you're not a water sign, you can use that because we have all the 12 zodiac signs within us. We have it within us and each new moon or full moon for whatever particular sign, that's, that's for us to harness that knowledge and that information to pump ourselves up. Okay, so the third eye, the third eye chakra, okay? Focus on strengthening your intuition, trusting yourself, right? Trusting your inner voice, right? Believing in yourself, right? We are, we're all here with our goals and it's not a competition. Okay, even if you're doing the same thing, the world is vast, right? Everyone has a light, a way of helping themselves and inspiring themselves and inspiring others. So there is room there for everyone to, to enjoy life, right? I really like this background. I, I should have came out here earlier to the park. But um, I hope you guys can hear me well. And uh, I hope that you guys set your intention. Definitely work on uh, your third eye. Work on your intuition. Okay? And, and strengthen that, that you will have the guidance you need to accomplish that goal. And think of your goal. And smile while you're thinking of your goal. Um, do a mantra to increase your intuition. Because that will help guide you along with your goal. Right? And when you're doing that, that, that mantra, that you know, um, and after you do that, you sit there and pull the energy of the goal that you want to accomplish. You hold that thought. You breathe after that mantra, that mantra. You hold that thought of your goals being accomplished. You smile, right? Physical smile on your face. You smile and you your entire body. You feel it as if, you know, it has happened already, right? you hold that energy because that's if you think of it that's how kids do it too they want a candy they're like happy i want a candy and they feel like they have it already you know and when they receive it they're that much happier right so it's like just holding the joy of what it is that you want so i hope you guys enjoy the new moon in pisces um <clears throat> hold your energy for the two weeks and it could manifest before the the, the next coming full moon uh the, the first quarter moon you might start feeling down so you pump your energy up again if you need to do the the mantra again you know and and hold that space and hold that thought okay and um and keep your mind positive keep your mind strong so enjoy the next two weeks click like on this video hit subscribe share it with a friend and i will see you guys next time peace